Welcome to this lesson on scale factor. The scale factor is a number that you multiply a measurement by to increase or decrease its size. The large triangle is three times bigger than the smaller triangle. A scale factor of three has been applied to the small triangle to create the bigger one. The side length of three centimeters has been multiplied by three to become nine centimeters. It is important to distinguish which is the original image. If the large triangle was the original image and the small triangle was created from the large one, then the scale factor would be one-third. In other words, the new image is three times smaller than the original. There are quite a few ways to indicate scale. As a decimal, as a percent, a fraction, or as a ratio. All of the first examples indicate the same scale. 1 decimal 5, 150 percent, 3 over 2, and a ratio of 3 to 2 all mean the same thing. Similarly, 0 0.2, 20 percent, 1 fifth, and 1 to 5 are all equivalent. To convert from a decimal to percent, move the decimal two places to the right. To determine the fraction version, write the decimal version as an improper fraction, then reduce. The ratio has the same values as the fraction. The numerator goes first, then the denominator, separated by a colon. Let's fill in the chart to make sure we're comfortable with converting between different forms of scale factor. Our first example is 7 divided by 10, so as a ratio would be 7 to 10. 7 divided by 10 is 0 decimal 7, so that's our decimal value. Move the decimal 2 to the right to get the percent value of 70%. Because the decimal value is less than 1, this scale factor creates a reduction. The new image will only be 70% of the size of the original. In example 2, the scale percentage is 100. This means that the decimal value is 1. The fraction would be 1 over 1, reducing to just 1, and the ratio would be 1 to 1. In this case, nothing has happened to the image, so there's no change. In example 3, move the decimal 2 to the right to get 425%. Convert 4.25 to a fraction to get 4 and 25 hundredths, or 425 over 100 as an improper fraction, then reduce to get 17 over 4. The ratio would then be 17 to 4. Because the decimal value is higher than 1, it is an enlargement. Let's look at calculating scale factor. In this example, a regular pentagon has been enlarged. To calculate scale factor, you need to compare the ratio of the sides. Start with the measurement of the new image and divide by the corresponding measurement of the original. So in this case, 1.8 divided by 1.5 is 1.2, so the scale factor is 1.2. This can also be written as 120%, as 6 fifths, or as our ratio 6 to 5. In example 2, a scale of 3 to 5 will be applied to the rectangle. Will the new image be an enlargement or a reduction? The ratio 3 to 5 is the same as 3 divide 5, or 0 decimal 6. Because the decimal value is smaller than 1, the image will be a reduction. Part B reads, what will the, the dimensions of the new rectangle be? To find the new dimensions, multiply by the scale factor. 5 decimal 4 times 3 fifths is 3 decimal 2 4, and 2.3 times 3 fifths is 1.38. In our third example, a scale of 160% was applied to a photo to create an image 20 inches wide. We're asked, what was the width of the original photo? A scale of 160% must be an enlargement because it's over 100%. This means that our final answer should be smaller than 20 inches. Remember from the last example that the image size was a result of multiplying the original size by the scale factor. We know the scale factor and the image size to solve for the original, we need to divide by 1.6 to isolate that question mark. 
20 divided by 1 decimal 6 is 12.5, so the width of the original photo was 12.5 inches. Thanks for watching this lesson on scale factor.